Good morning, Kitty. You don't have a name. Let's fix that. I think that's hilarious. Hi, Kitty. All right. Greetings, everybody. Hello. This is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Modified the S farm a little bit. I put, I changed these sticky pistons and I put snow blocks underneath them. Uh, that way, if I'm over here and digging and I come too close with my pick, I'm not going to break the piston because that was annoying as all get out. Uh, so, and now I'm, I'm thinking about sort of modifying that side to sort of behave the same way, but I don't have a good solution for getting the power line over here. Because it would have to be along here. Or I'd have to move this back. Oh, I, I can move this back one. And then I can run. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Not important now. Not what we're doing today. This works. And it works as well as it needs to. Over here. Remember this platform? Yeah. We're going to build something. And we're going to use these guys. Hello. Ah. Okay. So, what I need in order to build this, I have in this chest, I have in this barrel right here. Not that much stuff. Um, was going to build this out of smooth stone blocks, but I changed my mind because we have uh, snow. And this whole thing is built out of snow. I don't really... That's fine. Um, and... <laughs> the glass and I will need these but not just yet and then I need beds I need beds lots of beds something like that so I'm going to build a villager breeder I'm going to build a finite villager breeder it's not an infinite villager breeder because as best as I can tell and whoops ah man okay Oh no, it's probably problem snow. It's not very resistant, but that's fine. We're, we'll get through this. Um, uh, have I got this in the right place? One, two, three, four. No, I do not. It goes right here. Um, so I need this to be here, and then I need a platform like here. It needs to be five by five. Yeah. Center, and then one, two, and then one, two. Ah. And fill it in. So this isn't the most practical building block for this kind of thing, but it will work. And it'll, it fits in with the rest of what's going on here. So now I switch to dirt and I will build a little five by five area with dirt, except for in the center where I need water because this is going to be a small farm, small carrot farm. I did not bring carrots. We will have to fix that. Okay. Uh, I'll have to go get carrots. So I put water there and put this there. That will melt. Let me go get carrots. Oh, okay, so from here I'm going to put down put this just for now. Hey, cooperate. Is it getting dark? It's getting dark. That's okay. It should not be a problem. Now, um, over this, I put the torch here. Ari melted the ice. 
because what I want to put on top of that is a composter. Blop. And I can pick up this torch. Don't need it. And then on top of that, I want to put a thing of snow. And on top of that, I'm going to put a torch. It will not melt the snow. And it will provide some light, which we, we need. Okay, so now... Oh, that's going to have to move. But that's okay. I smelted up all the, almost all the sand that I had. Because I need glass. This part doesn't have to be glass. It could be, um, it could be a, any any block, a solid block. It doesn't have to be glass. But I wanted glass in this case because I want to be able to see what's going on inside here. You don't have to fill in the corners, but I'm going to. And I don't need all of these blocks to be glass. This one here. I'm going to make sure I'm using my silk touch pick. And I'm going to remove. And I'm going to do the same over here. And to keep bad things from happening, I'm going to put down a trap door here. Put another one on top. Get rid of this. That is slow without the axe. And then flip this up. Do the same over here. Oh, that's so... Okay. Okay, so that now will keep our villagers here from getting out. Um, now I need... Whoops. Ow. All right, so that is... Fine and dandy. Now, next thing. Let's take these down because I don't need them at the moment. Now, we need... I need a platform here. And I need glass. So, I need no platform here. But I need platform here. And I'm going to use glass for this part. Go like that. Like that. I'm building a tube down to the bottom. And then I'm gonna put more glass over here. And fill that out. And then I have, I need a layer here of blocks. I'm gonna use my snow. All right, so I'm gonna go. Yeah, it's at this layer. And I think it's three by three. That's fine. Now I'm gonna finish building this. Like this. I'm gonna leave that one. So I'm gonna leave this here. Now I, I don't want a snow block there. I bought some more trap doors. I'm going to put a trap door on the floor there. And that is going to... I hear a zombie. He's probably attracted to the villagers. Hopefully he's like down below the platform and not inside one of my little things there. Okay, so we're going to leave this open like this. And the reason for that is I can put down rails and pick up villagers out of this holding tube, right? And oh, we can remove this. And instead, I'm going to use this in a decorative manner to give the whole thing look like it has a little bit of support. Yeah, that's fine. These aren't necessary, but I kind of want it. I should probably put a light underneath here. I'll put a torch for the time being. Um, okay, and then I need to duplicate this over here. 
Okay, so there's one more piece that needs to happen there first. Or well, not not first, but let's see here. So let's uh let's grab some glass. Let's glass all the way down. Whoa. Who oh, shoot? No 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 no. Right, yeah. Goodness gracious me. Uh, and then here. It's a little tube and ah. There we go. Same thing here, same thing here. So this is my collection tube. The and then up there, I need to put more. Uh, grab some snow blocks. Platform. I misjudged the size of this a little bit. Is that right? Oh, you know what? Ah, uh, hello, Mr. Wandering Trader. Where'd you go? Oh, you drank a... Okay, there's a zombie over here, so you drank a potion. That makes sense. We'll see you in the morning. Um, let's get my... Silk Touch spoon out. I don't need those blocks. Huh? I laid out this the size of this a little bit wrong. But I don't need three blocks. Yeah, two blocks. That will work. Okay. Now let's get back up on top here. Let's do it here. Is that good? One more. All right, so now down here, we will come here, grab my trap door, I'm going to trap door there and put it down. Actually, I can leave it out for now. This gives me a way in and out. <laughs> okay. And another trap door goes right here. Blah. Okay, so that lets me get in and out of the farm as needed. I can put it up and keep the guys in. And then, torch. Torch. Now, I don't think this next step is necessary. Because I don't know that we get storms over here. So I don't know where we get lightning. But I'm going to put down some lightning rods. Just to be extra paranoid. Because I don't want these guys turning into witches. Mr. Zombie. Man, I need a zombie. I don't need him super urgently. So, this um, design is based on something I saw in a Doc M77 Hermitcraft video. And I'm expanding it slightly. Uh, it, villager breeders have a limitation in that they are uh, hi what do you have off of me? blue eyes okay bro yeah you're kind of useless okay you'll you'll despawn after a while so the way these villager breeders work oh hi zombie i'm sorry that you're having a bad morning uh, is a village and then in the village they do a little census periodically they basically say how many how many beds are there and are there enough villagers to fill those beds and if not then <clears throat> they uh, then the villagers become willing to breed and 
that is when the little the love hearts happen and then they make their babies. So. Okay, come on. Um, but it's based on the number of beds and the design on this had one collection two on the side and it had three beds with two villagers in here. That gives them room to spawn one more villager. And that's fun and dandy, but they will only ever spawn one more villager. Um, so we will... I expanded it by adding more beds and adding a section, second collection tube. Now, to be honest with you, I only really need one more villager for what I'm immediately planning on doing, but having a having other villagers I think would be a useful thing. There we go. So now, oops. <laughs> oh, I found that funny. Okay. So now, we do this. I put this here because the baby villagers think they can walk over it and pathfind to these beds. Um, this prevents the, any of the adults from getting out. So when they spawn a baby, the baby can then run across here, think it's going to go grab one of these beds, and it will fall down this here. And um, I need another trapdoor on the ground there. Okay, so the trap door is there to elevate them slightly off the block so that if I put down rails in a little curve shape here and I put it, put it my cart along, it'll pick up one of the villagers and shoot them out this side or other side, whatever. So that's just a way of extracting the villagers from, uh, from the collection tube. Now I'm going to put another few blocks here, just decoratively, so it looks like, again, it's all supported. And the orientation of the beds is important. Um, what you need is you need to keep the pillow on the outside. Because if the baby is, so the baby will come up here and go, oh, beds, it'll run across. And if you can reach one of the pillows, it, it might actually jump into bed. We don't want that. Uh, we want the baby to claim a bed. Or it would be nice if they didn't have to, but they will claim a bed. Um, and this is, and that is why uh, there's, as I said, there's really no such thing as an infinite villager breeder in this version of Minecraft because once that baby claims a bed, that's its bed. And it will it will claw it will glom onto that bed until um, pretty much for the rest of the time. Um, you have to move the villager away from its claimed bed pretty far. I think it's a hundred blocks in order for it to forget about the bed. And as long as that bed is claimed, uh, the villagers in the farm will not spawn another baby so um so that's uh that's a bit of a problem so in order for uh in order for them to then create another like a second baby and the third or whatever um you have to provide additional beds and collection tubes right so i could actually put Four collection tubes on this thing. I don't really need two. I could get by with one, but I kind of like the sym symmetry of this design. So I can put another collection tube over here if I wanted, and one over there. But the problem is at that point with that would be twenty beds, and with the two villagers in there, and then potentially eighteen other villagers in the collection tubes, we run the risk of, of spawning a um, a zombie raid, and we don't want that. I don't want I don't want zombies just spawning on the platform here. So now, now we need to move villagers into there. Hello, sir. How are you? You are unemployed. That is fine. That's what we want. Okay. So I do this. I'm going to grab 
these. I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna grab these. All right, so we need to now get this guy out of here and up onto the platform. We need to get him up in the farm. He will then attach to the workstation and become a, a farmer, and he will start farming the carrots. Okay, so let's, uh, how are we going to do this? I need to put up. get him up I want to get him up above this level so let's just do this learn what we learn from moving these guys over here so it's more villager management oh I have more snow Uh-huh. Okay. I want to go one more up. I want to get one above. And I fully expect that getting this guy in here may trample some of the crops. It's fine. I'll go in and clean up. Uh-huh. And I'm doing this one above because I don't think I can place rails on the glass. Okay, so now I need rails. I have rails. I want to zoom him off the edge, but I want him to move off the edge. So I'll put that there. Okay. So now I'm going to put powered rails. And this needs to be a regular rail. And then these can be powered. Yeah. Okay. And then I can put uh and light these up. Yes. And then a regular rail here to connect it. That should give him enough oomph to get up in there. And guess what? You're already in my car, so I don't need to go get another my car. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if that cra trampled a crop. It might have. Look, he's already it's already a farmer. Okay, I'm gonna turn on hitboxes. Whoops. I'm gonna turn on hitboxes so I can. Get down and now I found that if I put this down and I don't jump, I just very carefully move. Sometimes that happens and sometimes it doesn't. There you go. Um, I am going to now replow that. And I have carrots. There you go. Oops. I just accidentally composted a carrot. All right. Okay. So that's our that's our farmer. I kind of want to trade with them. Hi. I have carrots. You want some carrots? Give me a give me a emerald. Thank you. All right, next guy. The next guy can be uh, unemployed. I don't need him to be anything, can be whatever he wants. Now, this guy there is employed. Um, hi. So maybe I could use him for this, but. Oh, why did he just get particles? Did he climb onto a bed? I think he did. I think he claimed a bed. 
I need to get down in there and get him out of the minecart. Oops. Um, there you go. And retill this. There we go. Get up. Close that real quick there. Oh, and I still have carrots. I did not trade all of them with him. There we go. Okay. So now, this farm is complete. Still needs a little bit of development. Um, I can put... Let's see here. Put some... Two more. So there's still a carrot missing from here. The farmer will take care of that. Now they're trying desperately to sleep right now because it's late. Because it's nighttime and they're scared. And there will be zombies about. This might turn into a bit of an iron farm. And in theory, I could build this. I could build an iron farm right here, or underneath this. Uh... Oops! Switch to the pickaxe, please. Uh, I could build an iron farm right here, and just build a collection for the golems that are probably going to end up spawning, just because I'll have zombies along that hillside there. But I don't want this to be the iron farm. Um, that will be coming at a different time, at a different location. So let's clean up this a little bit. And we will be done for this project. I heard it sounded like a horse taking damage. Oh, look at this. Now, villagers have a little quirk. If you're too close to them and looking at them, they will stare back at you rather than... Um, is that a little baby? That might be a baby. They will stare back at you rather than uh, doing whatever it is they're supposed to do. So, Do I hear a baby? I might. I think I... S There's something in there. Come on. Move away. Oh, there is. There's a little baby. Oh. Okay. They get hurt a little bit when they fall down, but they can be healed. Uh, yeah. So, great. So, the baby is an ice biome. It's like a snowy biome villager. Hi. How are you? Okay. So, that is awesome. So, I now have a baby. I'm going to take these down a little bit. Because that's not a convenient location. This will be a much better location. Yeah. For accessing the farm if needed. Hello. Okay, so the the Fide Villager Breeder is functional. And it's working. And now I have an extra villager. Huh. Huh. So I have one more villager in here. He's unemployed. Sorry. Uh, he's unemployed. Let's take a peek. Hi, how are you? I apologize. Okay. Oh yeah, I get a I can put a little trap door over him. So I just I want to make sure that we're not going to have any chance of anything spawning on top of that. And, uh, yeah, so this these guys will get somewhat evenly distributed between the beds over time. And again, I only really need one villager. One more. Actually, what I have here is all the villagers I need for the next step in my plan. But it's okay. This is working, and everything's good. And... Oh. Hello, Mr. Pigman. 
Hey, Glenn, whatever. You can stay in there. Let's go. Oh, I need more, I need more buckets. Here, the bucket up there. Okay, so that's lava farm. It continues to produce. It's slow. Kelp farm continues to produce. It's slow. Um, stone farm is is stone farm. Cave. And then I've got uh, this. The pointed dripstone farm is is working beautifully. Actually, it could almost harvest. Uh, and then, woo! I have plans for this. The plan being that this spot here is more than a hundred blocks away from the villager spawner there. So if I go, uh, I'm going to have to build a little tunnel up here, up to the side of the mountain, so I can transport villagers down in here, and I'm going to build an iron farm right here. Yeah, that's the next step in the master plan. And then I'll have plenty of iron. Uh, that skeleton spawner, I don't know... I might turn that into an automated bone farm. Just to use entity cramming to kill the skeletons. Um, so I don't have to actually be in there and kill them. It, it will not be an XP farm. It'll just generate bones and arrows. And maybe build an item sorter to get rid of the arrows. Because I don't need as many as it will give me. And then I can take the bones and just stash them into chests i don't know i have plenty of bones i probably have more bone meal than i will need for the rest of the season but never know slime farm non-automated slime farm so manual slime farm at the moment is doing pretty well so i flattened out that chunk there because that is also a slime chunk uh so there's one gap in between Unfortunately, the problem about to with connecting these all up together is my access tunnel runs right through there, so I can't flatten this down to the same level as these. Uh, so if I do start building platforms here, I'm going to have to get creative in order to incorporate this chunk. So I'm not sure that's going to happen. Um, but depending on who's on and what's happening... These can be ridiculously productive, um, but it, the mob cap has to be right in the right time of day and all that good stuff. So, so that's what's going on. I suppose I could reroute this tunnel around Slime Farm. See, I accidentally dug into this here when I was trying to flatten out all this. So I guess I could do that. I don't know. I still have some mining opportunities there, but I could reroute this shaft around all that, I guess. Okay. So that's the long and short of what's happening right now. Oh. Oh, interesting. Okay, so... Yeah, that's right. Uh-huh. Okay. The... The lightning... The lightning rods are probably a good idea because this part of the farm gets rain. So it could have some lightning. So, you're welcome. All right, so let's uh, 
Let's do this. Okay, well, we're going to call that an episode. Thank you for watching. I've got a working finite villager breeder and a, uh, <laughs> a wandering trader who just drank a visibility potion. Uh, but if you watch the whole thing, thanks for watching. This is Theron. Uh, it's been Minecraft Land Party. And again, the, the villager breeder uh, here was... Something I basically modified off of a Doc M77 Hermitcraft video. Um, he said it was a methods design. I could not find the methods, uh, like a video from methods showing it. So he may have done it on a live stream or it might just be on the Sidecraft server. So Doc was just giving credit, I believe. I will put a link to the Doc M77 video in the description. Uh, but again, thanks for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party, and I will see you next time. Bye.